okay so today we are going to discuss this problem on lead code make error strictly increasing so this is a very good problem to understand the concepts of dynamic programming so let's look at the problem statement of this problem we are given two arrays array 1 and array 2 and the job is that we have to make all the elements in array 1 strictly increasing and to do that we can replace any element of array 1 replace any element of array 1 with some element in array 2 and this replacement is considered as one operation and what we have to do is we have to find the minimum number of operations so that we can make this array 1 as strictly increasing and if it is not possible we have to return minus 1 so let's see few examples in this case we can see that all these numbers are already in increasing order so if we replace 5 with 2 then this complete array would be in increasing order and hence answer is 1 so let's see other, another example here we can see that again all these examples are, are in strictly increasing order but we don't have any number between 1 and 3 but if we notice that let's say we replace two we can but we can replace these two numbers so if we replace this with three from array two and if we replace this with four from array two then this array one becomes completely increasing and hence answer is two so To find the min number of operations, let's say i denotes the index of ith element in array 1. Then, then our dpi should somehow store the minimum number of operations so that our array 1 from index 0 to i is sorted so this is the first idea that comes into our mind so it's just like the problem of longest increasing subsequence so we have two options at every point to make array 1 increasing from 0 to i assuming that it's already increasing from 0 to i minus 1 so if the previous element that is if array 1 i minus 1 is already less than array i then we have two options either we still pick some element from array j and replace this array i or we keep array i as it is because it's already larger than array i minus 1 so we have two options in this case so this is the case of this is this case that we have an option to replace element at index i but if every i is not greater than array i minus 1 either it is less than or equal to array i minus 1 then we must replace so we have only one option that we must replace it with some element in array 2 so we have to replace in this case now let's see the solution so first of all we sort our array 2 because let's say I have to replace 5 I would like to, like to replace this element with the 
with the lowest element which is greater than 1 so that I can save larger numbers in array 2 for the for the for later options so I would just like to replace 5 with 3 in this case rather than with 4 if I want to so what would be a unique DP state so since our unique DP state should be such that it defines the transitions it uniquely determines that what what are the allowed and possible transi transitions uniquely determines allow transitions and we have already seen that the allowed transitions depends on what was what was previous number in the array uh, in the array is so our unique dp state would consist of three things i which is the index of array 1 j which is the index of array 2 and previous which is the previous element in array 1 so here i ranges from 0 to 1999 j is range from ranges from 0 to 1999 and 2000 because let's say we don't find any element when greater than the previous element then we then we will store it in the then we'll consider rj to be 2000 basically and and the previous number now now, uh, now the now the numbers in the array can range from 0 to 10 to 9 and it so this dp state would le lead to a large number of states but as in many dp questions if you can find a relation between any of the two dp variables and here in this case we can find a relationship between j and previous that we can reduce the state space from a 3 dp to 2 dp so we'll reduce this to i comma k and this will determine a to uh, a unique dp state so here i will denote the ith element of array 1 and basically k will denote the minimum index k dash in the sorted array 2 between between starting from j to the end of the array what is the first position what is the first position such that that element added to k dash is greater than previous so whatever the first k dash is such that added to k dash is greater than previous we mark our k to be that and this gives us a unique 2d dp state so now let's see how transitions can be made given a state i comma j comma previous to a new state. So, so what? So here we can see that these two states are equivalent to each other. So the case one is that if if the current element is less than or equal to previous, then we must replace this element. because we need this element to be greater than previous so what we'll do is we'll fi first find k and we will replace the element array 1 i with array, array 2 k that is the kth element of array 2 and then this will basically take one operation and we will return 1 plus answer of the next state and the next state would be this that we now try to we say that up to index i we are done now we have to do it for index i plus one and since we have already used the kth element of array two we can't use any of the previous elements of array two we can only use elements from k plus one of array two and we will say that the previous last element in this array in the array 1 is array 2k basically we have replaced r1i with r2k so last element is r2k 
so and else else we have both possibilities so we have this possibility also that we still replace it and so this is the same case as we discussed just now that we can still replace the index the element at index i or we choose not to replace this and if we choose not to replace this element then we have to start worrying about now the element at index i plus one but for optimization purposes we pass k stating that um, since uh, since array, array, array to k is greater than array 1 i and it is the lowest element which is greater than array 1 i and array i plus 1 is already greater than array 1 i that's why we are not replacing this and we have to now search an element in the next iteration which is greater than array i plus 1 so why why don't we start that search from k instead of starting that search from j so it's just like saving some amount of computational steps nothing else and and we also say that we have this is like the current element at index i element i since we don't replace it and this is our next state so basically this is the overall algorithm and the transitions between the different dp states i hope this is quite clear and now let's see this algorithm in code hi let so now let's see this uh, algorithm in code so we take a dp array of size 2000 2001 and we sort our array to we initialize our dp array with value minus 1 and we call our helper function we pass both the arrays we pass the starting index of array 1 which is 0 and we pass the previous element of array 1 and which we assume to be negative infinity so if i1 is greater than a1 dot size then we are done so we basically don't need any more operations we are done else as mentioned that we have to uh, maintain a dp state in terms of previous so k and previous are related that we try to find the index of the lowest element in array 2 and if dp result is already there we simply return that dp result otherwise if k is less than a to dot size which means that we can replace the current element with k so this is basically case one we can replace this the current element and if we re choose to replace then then basically we pass i1 plus 1 and now previous element becomes a2k because we have replaced the current element uh, a1i with a2k and if you can't replace we just return a large number so that our answer is not considered we repay we return 2000 because 2000 is an in invalid answer so and so in the case two is that if the current element is greater than previous then we have an option that we don't replace and we keep the current element as it is that is to be a1 i1 and otherwise otherwise we don't so if a a1 i1 is not greater than previous then we can't consider case 2 so case 2 is invalid then and we simply we simply mark case 2 with some very large value some invalid answer and then we return the minimum of case 1 and case 2 after storing it in our dp array so as i mentioned earlier that we could have optimized it using another variable as j to basically say that uh, we have to 
instead of looking from the beginning we can start looking from the geoth index and since we have already used kth element we have to now start looking from k plus oneth element and here again we can continue looking from the kth element as we want so this is just an optimization step so as you can see that this has got a success so yeah so using this value j or not is is an optional it's just an optimization step and i hope this is quite clear now thank you for watching my video if you like it please share it with your friends give a thumbs up subscribe stay tuned as more good content is coming soon thank you